just a little bit more about that story of the struggles you've had in starting your business and then like tr trying to scale it up into something bigger. Well, I, I think whenever you talk with people, they always want to kind of talk about like all the successes and all that. But I think um, as an entrepreneur, I always get drawn to, to people who have to struggle because I've, I've felt that. And I think any great story, I mean, the story arc is a main character, right? Who wants something and overcomes conflict to get yeah. it. Yep. And conflict is a part of a great story. We don't watch Rocky where he wins every fight, you know? I mean, he has to be <laughs> on the ropes, getting his head beat in, you know? And then he <laughs> overcomes that. And if it, those are the stories we resonate with because we that's real life. And when we decided to do our first brick and mortar, we had not done a restaurant type thing at all. I'd done a lot of work in nonprofit in nonprofits. And so it was a huge learning curve when we started. Um, I didn't realize too all of the permitting that was involved in getting a roaster permitted, especially here in California. There's a lot of uh, regulations that you have to figure out. And when we uh, started out, um, the worst thing to do is to to run out of capital, <laughs> and and I thought, man, you know, we'll we'll be set. I tried to raise. Let me give you some failures, okay? So I tried to start raising money for this, and I I could not raise any money. I was like trying to get people to buy in, trying to get them to get excited about what we were doing, and and when you talk about hey, we're going to start like this coffee shop, people are like, oh yeah, great, cool, cool idea. You know, everybody <laughs> wants to start a coffee shop, right? So, and I'm like, this is why it's different. And this is why, you know, and I'm, I'm all passionate, but it was hard to get people to really buy in to the point where they were going to write a check. And we got to a point where we were just hitting the wall. And I realized that I was going to have to have significant skin in the game to get people to buy into what we were doing and see that we were serious about it. And so one of the things that I did, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but I eventually got to a point where I sold my house. Oh, and I used that as seed money to get started. And when I did that, other people then kind of stepped up and gave a little bit more because they saw there was some skin in the game. And I thought, man, I've raised plenty of money. We're going to be able to do this easy, right? And we jump in and we're, we're, we're getting going and we're building this space out. We had leased a space that's 2,700 square foot. Um, it's three blocks from the beach. Uh, but it wasn't a commercial kitchen. And I didn't know anything about commercial kitchens. I didn't know any of that stuff. And so I jump 